In April 2018, I started to consider to build an airplane at our home. We have single family detached house with two car garage. The garage didn't have much insulation and we had a lot of stuff stored there. So I considered it would be a good idea to make some makeup. Putting things in the right place. Initially I was not planning to make some remodeling, but as usually it happens, the idea turned into some dramatically big project. I removed drywall from one of the walls and realized that the tarp paper is steered and weird by some plants that grew up through the wall from outside. Well, <laughs> I decided to remove siding and rebuild the wall. This project took a couple of my weekends. It required the whole day of work because I cannot let the wall be open for a long time. My house is more than 60 years old and I presume the redwood siding that I had was original, so it took a while to find the right material, but eventually I used some modern ones that I bought in Home Depot. Well, after rebuilding one of the walls, I lost all my fear, so started to rebuild internals of the garage. I removed all dry walls that I could find there and some old insulation as well. There was no ceiling in the garage so at summer time it was extremely hot and in the winter time it could be significantly cold there. I started to build ceiling with insulation what took long months because I couldn't work on this every weekend. So like some famous proverb says uh, you cannot finish a remodeling, you can only interrupt it. With the time, I started to believe in it. I was finding more and more things to change. I added attic fan built the ventilation and embedded closet for laundry stuff, installed a sink and <laughs> produced more and more mess and the garbage around. The remodeling activity has spread outside of the garage perimeter, so garbage became to be collected outside. Eventually the problem was solved by one call to the local company. Guys did a great job by removing the garbage, cleaning the place for the couple hours. Very appreciate that. From time to time I filmed the process by recording the job to my cell phone. Now I can enjoy by viewing the mess, because things seem to be better, maybe maybe not much, but be better today, I believe. Yep. As a status of today, the garage looks better than before. The remodeling was interrupted and in most parts, uh, 
Most parts are finished, I think, so it's finished. We have a good collection of bicycles in the garage and a temporary gym which was organized on the time of the situation related to the COVID-19. Um, we have a food storage and tools which uh, share the same place but in general the garage you know, I believe it's ready to meet its new tenant Velocity XL which I believe will be here pretty soon. Yep. I also would like to talk about my another project that I finished recently in in order to preparation for the building the airplane at home. We had a lot of stuff which was uh, stored in the garage, so to making more space available, I decided to build the shed. I never did it in the past, so it was very interesting and exciting project that made me busy with for several other weekends. The option was to buy a ready one or to build it by myself. I made a preference for the second option to have more freedom with making changes in size on, on the plan. Eventually the shed is 6 by 12 feet and highest point is about 9 feet above the ground. The foundation is built on concrete blocks where the bed of the pressure pressure treated pressure treated wood is placed on the walls uh, turned to be one of the easiest part of the construction and I, I spent significant time for building roof and yeah the roof was a challenge I made about <laughs> 20 trips into Home Depot just because not planning the project properly so the good lessons learned so Anyway, it was uh, fun to build it and immediately to have a test for the roof. Uh, we got a three days non-stop showers here, so the roof has passed the test successfully. We moved some stuff from the garage to the shed, so garage got some more space now. And it's ready to meet their airplane, I believe. Eventually, I feel proud of the job has been done here. So walking to the shed and just like to show it. And this is the roof. I love it. So yeah, approaching to the entrance and opening the door. So, um, actually it's a two-sided door that made the entrance pretty big for bulky things that can be moved inside. Not much stuff placed inside yet. On the video, just the paper and uh, I've just built the shelves. So demonstrating how windows work. In, by the way, they have anti-mosquito nets. <laughs> Extremely important stuff in the shed. So, yeah, and opening the second door to show how big the entrance is. Yep, here you go. And in the end, I got the message from Duan that. They almost finished to work on my fast build kit. He sent me the pictures that he took recently 
I am planning to go to Florida in June 2020 to continue working on the kit at the factory for two weeks and then to move the airplane to California into the <laughs> remodeled garage. So that's it.